Generally, when you're dealing with either nightclubs or bars or uh, you know social uh, locations where people gather, um, the types of calls I usually get are calls where people were either assaulted by someone else um, at at the club, or whether or people who were who were mistreated by the security at the club. Um, so let's handle one at a time. In the cases of somebody who was uh, mistreated by security, it's really a simple case of what exactly happened and whether or not security had the right to treat them the way they did. Uh, generally speaking, uh, they shouldn't uh, be using physical force, uh, you know, if physical force wasn't used in the first instance. So I would look to try to find witnesses to find out what happened, uh, try to get the, the, you know, the full story from uh, the, my client to find out uh, what exactly happened, and to be able to come to uh, uh, a determination and to basically find as much evidence as possible to show that the security personnel were not justified in using the force that they did. In the first scenario where the client may have been assaulted by other patrons at the uh, club, there's a few things we look for. First, we, we look for was the club on notice that this type of behavior goes on. There are some clubs where this is a routine type of uh, activity, where there's fights or where there's assaults. Uh, in that situation, the club is on notice that they have to provide security, adequate security, so that when these things happen, they can be dealt with right away and broken up. So that's the first thing I would look for. The second thing I would look for is to say, was the security they provided adequate? Uh, if you have one security guard in a club that has a thousand people, I would argue that that's inadequate. Um, another thing we look for is to see what were the actions of the security personnel. How long before the fight arose did they have an idea that there might be a fight? Often these things don't happen in a vacuum where somebody just throws a punch out of nowhere. Generally it starts with a verbal dispute and then it escalates from there. Sometimes it could be as long as a half an hour or even more before the initial beginnings of the uh, argument start up until the time where it escalates to something physical. If that's the case, I would look to the security people and say, what did they do during that time to try to defuse this? What did they do to try to protect my client? Um, because again, they do have an obligation to provide adequate security. So those are all things I would look into in those types of situations to see if the club owner could be held responsible.